Fire blight is the most devastating bacterial disease of apples, pears, and crab apples. A bacterium called Erinia amylovora causes fire blight in apples and pear. This bacteria can also infect service berries, cotton easters, hawthorns, quince, blackberries, raspberries, and mountain ashes. What does fire blight look like? Infected twigs and young branches darken and tips usually bend to form a shepherd's crook. Infected leaves turn dark brown, wilt, and remain attached to the tree. During warm and humid conditions, infected tissues may exude bacterial ooze in droplets. Where does fire blight bacteria come from and how does it spread to kill my apple tree? During winter, bacteria overwinters in old cankers. Early spring, bacteria becomes active in holdover cankers as temperatures warm. As spring progresses, bacteria can be carried to natural openings and injured parts of blossoms and young shoots by insects and rain. Late spring and early summer, disease develops and spreads in warm, humid weather. Shoots can be infected directly or through infected blossoms. Late summer and fall, infections kill the plant or develop into cankers. During winter, bacteria overwinters in old cankers. Early spring, a new fire blight infection cycle begins. How do I prevent and control fire blight? Plant resistant cyan varieties and rootstocks. Use clean orchard management tools. Use clean cyan wood and rootstocks when planting a new orchard. Prune infected plant parts and dispose appropriately. Use antibiotics and biocontrol during high risk periods in combination with disease forecasting models. For more information on fire blight, find the article on fire blight in apples and pears at the website of the American Phytopathological Society or visit us at ConLab at Cornell University. For questions and comments, send us an email at mak427 at cornell.edu.